Right, so I'm going to go over really quick how to do these first couple problems, and then I'm going to let you guys try to do the rest of the lab. So, the first part of these, I'm going to start with this one. Oh, sorry. I'm going to start with this one first, and then we're going to do the top one. So, the first thing is you need to do the reaction type. So, the line kind of moved down here, but usually it's next to it. You'll do the reaction type. So, you'll notice here, um, you're going to have your Na... And it's going to swap positions with your AG. So they're going to switch partners. So when it's a switch partners one, it's going to be a double replacement reaction. All right? So then the next thing asks us to write a balanced equation. So if you look at this one, you'll actually notice that this equation looks balanced already. We have 1NA, 1NA, 1CL, 1CL, 1AG, 1AG, 1NO3, 1NO3. So you can either rewrite the whole equation, you know, the NaCl plus Ag, NO3, you know, da, 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 da. You can write the whole thing. Or you can write, like, already balanced if you want. Just to save you some time. The next thing says to perform the reaction. So this is where you watch the video that I've done. So you can watch the video to see the reaction. And then number two, you need to put the evidence. So for example, this NaCl, AgNO3, if you watch the video, you'll see like a color change. You'll also see um, a solid form. So things like that you'll put down at the evidence. Now the next part is the tricky part, and it says draw what is happening at the molecular level. So what you need to do, you can do this pretty easy on Kami. You'll assign each element a different color. So, for example, you know, I might do Na as a green, I might do Cl as a yellow, I might do Ag as a pink, and NO3, remember, since it's a polyatomic, it stays stuck together on both sides, I'm going to do that as a blue. Alright, so you know that the NO3 can be all together, because you see it here, and stuck over here, so it can be all together. So we have to assign those colors, so now we can do this drawing part. So for the drawing, what we do is we're going to draw out each side of the equation. So for the first side, let me show you what it will look like. We're going to have an Na, and it's going to be bonded to a Cl, like this. So it's like you have a little Na. You know, this is a little Na, and this is a little Cl. You don't need to label them like that, I'm just kind of showing you. So that's your molecule, and it's going to be mixed together with an Ag, which we picked a pink. Oh, whoops, I accidentally clicked the thing. Um, an Ag and an NO3. So an NaCl plus an N Ag NO3. So those are the molecules you draw. It's going to go to... And then you do the molecules on this side. So now you have Na or a green. You have a green. So you have the green. And the green is now with the NO3. So that's the blue color. So the green is now with the blue... So we see how that bond was broken and now reformed to be green and blue together. And then we have our uh, CL, our yellow, is now with our AG. And so you see how they've swapped partners. So this is like the written form up here. This is going to be the picture form. So this was a kind of easy one. I wanted to show you an easier one and also show you when you have this polyatomic ion. You know, you can keep this all together. The NO3, you don't have to draw separate things. You can keep it all together. All right, now we're going to look at a little bit harder one up top here. And we'll try to do it. Um, some of them are really easy. Some of them are going to be hard on your homework. Um, so just try your best. I'll put the whole, um, the, all the answers up by the end of um, the week so that you can see them. Um, but for this one, let's first do our reaction type. We see two different things, and they combine to form one thing. So this is going to be a combination. So if we write our balanced equation, so we have Zn plus O2 goes to ZnO. So we see one Zn, one Zn, two O's. We need to get two O's over here. So we're going to put a two in front. And then that makes our Zn now, because the 2 goes for the O and for the Zn. So we have two Zn's, so we need to get two Zn's on this side as well. So then again, you'll perform the reaction. You'll watch that on the um, screen. You'll see that the flame changes color. So it's, again, this is like a color change. Whoa, sorry. Hard to talk and write. So this is a color change. One, hopefully you saw that a little bit on the video. I know the video is hard for this one. 
Um, and then number three, the hard part is going to be drawing what happens. So again, this one, we only need two different colors. So let's assign maybe Xan will be pink. And let's do O as the blue. Um, so the important thing for this, the first thing is to remember to use the balance equation as we draw. That's going to be really important. So the first part of our equation is our Zn. So Zn we're going to represent as a dot. Now you'll notice we have a 2 in front of our Zn. So because we have this 2 right here, it tells us that we need Zn and we need Zn again. Now you'll notice they're separate. So when you have a big number up front here, that tells us it's going to be separate. They're going to be two separate things. All right, then we're going to have a plus sign, and then we're going to have an O2. So the O now is going to be one molecule, and it's going to be made up of two different O's. So the, if it has a small number here, it needs to be bonded together. So you'll see in this one, we have two different examples. When the two's in front, like here, we have two ZNs. So you have one, two that are separate plus, and then we have O2, which is bonded together, O2. All right, now if we continue on with our arrow, we're going to have, you now see that it has changed to be Z and O. So we need a Z and an O combined together. So let's get our ZN first, our ZN, and then it's going to be bonded together with an O. You know it's bonded together because here, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You know it's bonded together because here, there's no plus sign in between, so the Zn and the O are going to be together. All right, that's how you know it's bonded together. Now, you see the big number up front. That means that we need two of these. So we need two ZnOs. So this is one ZnO. Now we need one more ZnO. All right, so that's kind of how you do the drawing. Some of them are going to be a little bit trickier, so try your best. Like I said, at the end of... Um, probably this next week, I'll have the video posted for sure for the other answers. I just want to give you a chance to try out the worksheet, and then you can go check your answers when you're done. Let me know if you have any questions, and hopefully you have a fun time watching these lab videos.